Okay, um, my name is Maria Cruz Berrocal, and I am working right now at the Zukunftskolleg in the University of Konstanz in Germany. And I have co-organized the session uh, called Early Modern Colonialism in the Asia Pacific Region, together with Mark Staniforth. So why did you choose to organize the session and what do you hope to get out of it? Um, well, this is my topic, this is my research. Uh, the, the name of the session is kind of very broad, but um, I am focusing on Spanish colonialism in in Asia Pacific right now in Taiwan. So I think um, there is a need of um, information about this topic in general, generally speaking, because there are so many countries involved, so many different kind, kinds of approaches from archaeology, from history, from linguistics, from China, from the Philippines, from many other countries. And I think it's important to have this get together, so to speak, in order to, to gather information. Great. So what do you hope to see accomplished in your research area as represented by the, the papers that are going to be presented? What, how do you hope to see that research pr progress over the next you know, five, ten years? You mean in general, not my own research? But you, both your own research and in general. Uh, right. Um, well, I hope to get deeper into the knowledge of the Spanish presence outside of the Philippines, mm -hmm. because it is very, very poorly known. Even within the Philippines, sometimes it is poorly known. And I want to extend the research uh, towards the navigations, the Spanish navigations, because everybody knows that there was a Manila Galleon that was uh, sailing for two centuries and a half. And, but I think that the potential impacts of these navigations, these expeditions, um, is not well understood yet. And that's how I want, that's, that's the way I want to go forward. And I want to, well, I'm trying to put together a project which um, kind of build a um, digital platform, so to say, to put together the written sources and make them, make them available for researchers from archaeology, because many times archaeologists, I am an archaeologist, we don't know the written sources as deep as we should especially if they are in a different language. <laughs> and so I think this is an important issue to tackle. Um, also put together different kinds of evidence coming from archaeology, for instance, demographic impacts, because they are very subtle and we need different ways to, methodologically speaking, deal with this, this kind of evidence in many different archipelagos, from Melanesia to Micronesia, even Polynesia. And well, that's the way I want to go. I'm still thinking. <laughs> and what are some of the biggest challenges that your research is facing? Uh, right now um, there is a big big issue of course working in Taiwan which is the um, the Chinese, the Taiwanese uh, academy which is completely uh, apart from, I mean we don't know at all what, what they are working on because they don't tend to publish in English at all and they have their own ways of thinking of things so that's a big challenge because I have I've been I've been trying my 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 site in Taiwan uh, we are working with the entire archaeological sequence so we have the Neolithic the Iron Age and then the European settlement and then the Chinese Qing dynasty people coming to Taiwan and then the Japanese colony so we have everything and of course there is a lot of knowledge that they have accumulated in the last years because they have made a lot of archaeology in Taiwan in the last years, but it's very difficult to reach this knowledge, and so that's a big challenge, and of course I'm learning Chinese, uh, but <laughs> it's going to take a while, and they, they have, they they write in, in Chinese, but they, they also have different ways to look at things and to explain the archaeological record, and so I, I think that's a challenge. And then, of course, there is the other challenge on the other side of the equation, so to say, which is the Anglo-American Academy, because they have been dominating the study of archaeology and anthropology in the Pacific. In Spain, we don't have a tradition in Pacific studies, which is nonsense, but we don't. So, um, so the historians in Spain know the sources very well, 
but they have not been been working on on this availability for us archaeologists uh, from Spain or from any other country. So that's also a challenge. They, they are two different, actually three different worlds, the Anglo-American, the Spanish tradition, the, and the, Ch the Chinese Taiwanese Academy, and they all uh, come together in Asia Pacific and the Pacific in general. So that's very interesting but very challenging. Now for the session, are there any areas that you feel are underrepresented, be they geographic or thematic, and how do you think that we should address those gaps? Yeah, well, I don't know. I think, I feel the session, uh, well, I think that's how the conference was, um, was organized, that you have to pretty much bring the session together with the people who is going to take part. And instead of making it open to a wider public and so that people can choose to come, you know, without knowing in, in advance. And so maybe we should have publicized the session more widely in order to attract people from, I don't know, more people from the Philippines, of course, more people from Taiwan itself, uh, more people from Japan too because you are the only one who is <laughs> going to represent Japan mm -hmm. and China of course yeah um, yeah but we are having a little bit of everything <laughs> that's good too okay anything else you'd like to comment on um, or mention uh, no <laughs> all right thank you very much yeah.